Hey everyone, I'm Luna and today I'd like to go over some pretty cool back tips that I've uh, come up with after uh, a few hundred hours on the character, uh, both in ranked and in scrims. Uh, and uh, I'd like to share what I've learned with him and show you some cool stuff you can use to improve and climb the ranks. So the first tip I want to give is is a pretty general tip. So um, it's a good way of learning how uh, your lamp works. Now this is, uh, we call it, or I call it the lamp. Um, it's got a few names, Immortality Field, Frisbee, Disc, you can call it whatever, but uh, I, I will be calling it the lamp for the rest of this video. So if you want to know where it lands, uh, it actually follows the exact same trajectory and path as your right click does. So let's say I wanted to place it just on the corner here there i can just line it up with a few right clicks and then uh, let it fly and it follows the exact same path now something to be aware of is um the lamp is sensitive to the map skybox unlike the right clicks so uh with the right clicks you can send them up in the air but if i do the lamp you see it will bounce bounce off the roof of the map and land even before i sent those so uh the lamp is sensitive to the map's skybox so you can't really throw it like across the map uh, as much as you can your right clicks so the next tip I want to give is uh, just something to look out for when you're using your exo boots. So this jump here. So recently it's been buffed where uh, you can charge it fully pretty quickly. Um, it's, it's not a crazy buff, but it's a nice quality of life change. Uh, and something I, uh, I'm just trying to run away from this hog. Uh, something I want to stress with this is to basically stop using it. Now, I don't mean like never use it again in your life. I just mean, especially in 1v1s, doing this against the uh, enemies makes it really easy see this bot roadhog just hit hooked me there like doing predictable jumps like this makes it really easy for widows to headshot you or tracers to track you and, and kill you um it's what they're looking for right so if you imagine yourself as a tracer and you won't be wanting someone you're looking for when they jump or anything like that so you can uh predict what that, that what their movement's going to be and a big jump like this just makes it easier um so if you see they have a widow basically just unbind your exo boot key just stop doing it um you can do little bunny hops like this so if you hit control and jump straight away you could do little um like slightly higher than normal jumps because um let's say you're crossing a gap against a widow you might want to do a little bunny hop because it's a little bit higher than a normal jump so it might throw them off um but in general stay away from doing these crazy high jumps against uh widows and stuff like that of course uh if you are in a 1v1 uh let's say with like a i don't know a soldier here or something um, using your boots to, to grab high ground and get away is a, a really good idea. Um, so don't be afraid to use your boots to, uh, like, get away from a 1v1. But in a 1v1 sort of out in, out in the open, you really do want to avoid using this. Now, the next tip I want to give is sort of uh, a question I get asked a lot on stream. Um, and it's when do I heal or when do I damage? Now, this isn't really specific to Baptiste. Um, it's more of just a general healing tip. But it is, you know, it definitely applies to BAP. So, uh, in general, what I would say is, like, your role as a healer is to keep your team alive. And if doing damage to an enemy will save your teammate, then do damage. And if out healing the incoming damage is more likely to save your teammate, do that. So, if that doesn't make sense, what I basically mean is, if uh, someone is 1v1, let's say this uh, hog here is, is 1v1ing Azaria. Uh, and the hog doesn't have his heal ability and is gonna die if the Zarya doesn't die. But the Zarya is full HP. So you're probably better off healing your uh, hog to try and out heal the damage coming in from the Zarya. But if the Zarya is half HP and will still kill your hog at the same rate, uh, doing damage to the Zarya to help finish the kill will be more likely to save your hog. So it's whatever in this specific situation is most likely to save your teammate. It is pretty easy to get carried away doing damage on BAP. Um, I'm definitely guilty of it. Um, it is more fun, but at the end of the day, your job as a healer is to keep your team alive, not, not kill the other team. That's your DPS's job. So uh, often you want to be making sure you're keeping your team alive by healing at the right times or doing damage at the right time. And it all depends on what the situation is. The next tip I'd like to give is uh, about the uh, lamp usage or the immortality field usage um and what i mean by that is is to be quite stingy with it it's it's okay to die with it uh available um because it's a 25 second cooldown 
it doesn't last for very long um and i think in quite a lot of situations it's probably better to die with it rather than panic and use it and then not have it for when you need it so um be stingy with it don't throw it out at the last second every time if someone like gets peaked and headshot by a, a widow then that's kind of their fault you're not really supposed to use a lamp for that um and another thing i'd like to just mention quickly about baptiste lamp is to coordinate with your other support in the game uh, about when you're going to use what so let's say you're against a sig and a mei uh, and on your team you have a bap and a zen so you want to coordinate with your team uh, or specifically with your zen who's using what and when so in that situation uh, baptiste lamp is really good against sigma's ult you can throw it now just before you hit the floor um and then zen's trans is really good against mei ult so you would want to just communicate with your um you want to communicate oh my god this hog is actually ulting me what the hell uh you communicate with your zen let him know that uh you're going to use the lamp for the sigol and then the zen can use the trans for mei ult just so that you don't use both for one ult it's really good uh, ultimate economy to get this kind of thing sorted and obviously it applies more to uh, other alts as well not just sig and mei and the last tip i'd like to give is just a fun one uh, and it's a way you can dodge uh emp with your lamp now you have to have pretty good reactions for this uh, but it's definitely possible i pulled it off in proper games and scrims and in competitive ladder games before um and you just need to keep track of when their sombra has emp think about when she's going to use it and then as soon as you see the wind up animation throw your lamp in the air directly above you um and then it will land and it will land without having been hacked uh be careful if you're inside and you do this because it could hit the ceiling uh but if you do time it right you can still do it inside so fun fact uh send me some clips of you doing this in ranked games i'd like to take a look okay guys so that was pretty quick uh, i hope you enjoyed that uh, video on baptiste tips to climb i hope they help you uh, if they do let me know in the comments uh, and if you want to find me live you can ask me any questions about baptiste or echo or anything else uh, about overwatch uh feel free to drop by my stream at twitch.tv slash i'm luna i'm live every day of the week apart from monday and wednesday and on fridays we do some really fun community streams so you can also hang out and uh have some fun without overwatch as well so thank you all so very much for watching and i hope to see you soon chat you can you can go here this is a fun spot <laughs>